Hi, I'm Aldias in Medium, and thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to try to bring religion and spirituality closer together, and this is what this pod is all about. I will talk about my own thoughts and feelings as I am both LDS and have spiritual gifts, something that I've had my whole life, but I always thought that it was hard to combine these gifts with my religion. This has torn me into two directions and I have talked to many people who feel the same way. I can't choose not to have my spiritual gifts, but I can choose how I use them. And I always want to use them for good and to help others. I believe my heavenly parents gave them to me for a reason. So. This is me. Join my quest for knowledge. December 4th. Today I would like to focus on Matthew 4 verse 17. In this verse it says, From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And I think this is vital for us today. For years we've been told that we are living in the last days. Christ's second coming is close. And I grew up hearing about it. But now, is the first time I'm actually feeling it. Every time I think about it, I can feel it resonate inside of me. It's close, like really close. I feel like I could actually wake up tomorrow and he would be here. That's how close I feel it is. That could mean that it's within a 10 year span, but in my gut, I feel like the millennial kingdom will be established within 10 years. I might be wrong, of course. I found out that my timing and God's timing are way off. But I have this sense of growing anticipation, this tingling inside that something great is about to happen. And I feel happy at the thought of it. Like, I can't wait. And I've said it before, a part of me thinks that he's already on earth, walking around seeing what we have created on this place he gave us to take care of. He is here like a thief in the night, watching, biding his time, gathering his close ones until the day he will come back in all his glory. So. How do you feel about Christ coming back? Does it scare you or excite you? I think that we need to have this innate knowing about I'm being a child of God. That makes all the difference. Imagine you getting an invitation to the White House to meet the President and the First Lady, or in my case, to go visit the King and Queen of Sweden. I guess I would feel anxious and nervous and dress up in my best attire to go there. But how does it feel when I go home to visit my mom and dad? There, I just open the door and say, Hey mom, dad, I'm home. This feeling of belonging versus feeling like a guest or visitor is what we should understand. We, as children of God, are going home to where we were created as souls and where our parents live. I've been watching pictures of returning missionaries and it's amazing to see the greetings on the airport, the hugs, the kisses, and the feeling of coming home. That is what I want to experience when my time comes. And in order for that to happen, I have to understand who I truly am. As a soul, a divine being, a child of God. Be the light, share the light, spread the light, shine. This is my journey. Thank you so much for keeping me company today. Please download, like, share and subscribe and help spread the light and spread the word to expand our community. Let's bring more love, peace, and unity to this world. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Always be grateful, kind, and loving. Be brave and remember to step out of your comfort zone and smile. If you support us on Patreon, you will get access to our meditations and extra materials so you can download them as mp3. Also, we now have a Facebook group, which you can access from our Facebook community. Please answer the questions as you apply to participate. It will be a safe haven where we can keep discussing religion and spirituality, our spiritual gifts and self-development. Remember, one person can make a difference, but together we can change the world.